This is Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts, and this is a review of the HP 2133 Mini Note. I previously did an unboxing and first impressions video uh, a little bit over a month ago, and I've had about a month now to spend uh, with the device, uh, learning how to use it, you know, figuring out what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and here are here are my impressions. Um, it's uh, it's it's pretty quick to boot up. It boots up in about uh, one minute and. 12 seconds. It takes it about 30 seconds to shut down, so it's not it's not too bad. Um, I really like the design. That's probably the the single strongest point that I can say for this particular uh, device. Uh, the keyboard is you know uh, almost full size. It has a really really great keyboard for typing. Um, the uh, the screen itself is easily one of the best screens I've ever seen on a small uh, device like this. It's got a great, great screen. Um, the resolution on the screen uh, is nice and high, and it may actually be a little bit too high. So you have to make sure that you actually have uh, good vision to use this laptop, because frankly, uh, on an 8.9 inch screen, um, you know this this laptop has the same resolution that a lot of you know 13 inch uh, laptops have um, so it's something you, you want to be aware of um, one of the things I was less impressed with uh, was the the battery life this particular battery uh, I was given was the uh, the three cell version and the the battery on it uh, does not last very long uh, if you you know I, I was I was using it to do a bit of uh, to do a, uh, a bit of typing uh, and essentially uh, it lasts about an hour and 30 minutes and that is with um, the uh, brightness three notches down from maximum so that's, a, that's at about 70 percent brightness so if you're in you know a brightly lit room and you need to do um, you need to crank up the brightness you might be looking at maybe an hour an hour and 15 minutes the six cell battery which is available and the six cell battery Kind of, uh, kind of a humps out the bottom here. Um, that battery essentially doubles the battery life, so you'd be looking at, you know, more like uh, two and a half, even even three hours. That's 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 a lot more uh, reasonable battery life. But unfortunately, I was not um, given one of those to test out. So it's actually just telling me that HP Update wants to run. I'm going to uh, click Cancel. Um, the touchpad itself down here, the touchpad is wider than you would expect. You know, most touchpads are going to be a little bit taller than this. So that was something that um, it did take me a little while uh, to get used to. And the fact that the buttons are on the left and the right rather than being, you know, down here, uh, that also takes a while to get used to, you know, because if, if you're used to going like this and then reaching down here to do a right tap or, or, or a left tap, uh, although usually a left tap you do by tapping the, um, the uh, cursor area, the pad, uh, the right mouse tap is, like I said, a little bit um, awkward. Now, I think probably though more than the battery life and more than anything else on this laptop that I did not like unfortunately is uh, the CPU. The CPU in this particular unit is a 1.2 gigahertz um, VIA processor and it frankly is just not powerful enough. Um, I tried, one of the first things I tried, I was curious about and people in my forums were asking, you know, can this device, you know, play back? Uh, 720p video, you know, could you use it as a high, high definition, you know, video watching terminal? And the answer is no, it can't. And frankly, I thought that, you know, that's kind of pushing the boundaries for a small portable device like this anyway. But what I was surprised at is that it does not actually play regular, you know, 480p um, DVD resolution, you know, 720 by 480, regular DVD resolution, the 1.2 gigahertz processor cannot handle it. It just chugs along. Now, I've been told that the 1.6 gigahertz version that has two gigs of RAM, it will actually play um, video, DVD resolution video without a problem, but this particular unit that I was sent unfortunately does not do that. So for me, that was a pretty significant um, let down. It's, it sputters and stutters and drops frames and sort of does everything else. Um, there was a little bit of added junk software, not a whole lot. There was, you know, like an AOL toolbar and a couple other things that I uninstalled, um, but nothing I uninstalled really made uh, that, that big of a difference in terms of the overall uh, you know, uh, per performance of the device. Um, I had a chance to have a conference call uh, with HP and I, I had a chance to ask them a couple of questions uh, about this particular 
uh, device and some of its quirks that I had noticed. So for instance, you see, you see how long that actually took to, to draw on the screen there? That's an example of, I think, where the CPU and maybe even the GPU, where they just kind of, you know, fall down. Uh, everything on the laptop just feels a, a little bit too sluggish. Um, so one of the things I asked them about was, um, when you close the laptop, it goes into hibernate, okay? So this is what, you know, pretty much every laptop on the planet will do. You close the lid, it goes into um, hibernate mode. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds here. It looks like the hard drive is still, um, is still blinking here, like it's writing to disk. Uh, I often wish laptops went to sleep faster, uh, especially it seems like Vista-based laptops, they don't actually make it into uh, sleep mode as quickly as possible. Um, and actually, I, sh I should clarify, when most laptops, when you close the lid, they will in fact go into sleep mode rather than hibernate mode. Hibernate mode will typically happen automatically after a certain period of time. So it looks like it's still grinding away here. Well, let's just try popping it open and we'll just see. Yeah, see, so even after all that time, it didn't actually go into sleep mode and that's not very impressive. At any rate though, normally what will happen is you close the lid and within maybe 10 or 15 seconds it goes into sleep mode. Now when you open up the lid, what should typically happen with almost every laptop out there is it will come out of sleep mode and the laptop will wake up. This laptop does not do that. I asked HP uh, why that was and they said that it was a specific request from the education market, which of course is uh, who this laptop is, is designed for. They said that because it doesn't have uh, a latch here to hold the lid closed, Apparently, there was some feedback from um, people that they were afraid that students would, you know, close the lid and then while it was in their bag or something, the lid would actually pop open a little bit enough to wake up the laptop and then the battery would be dead when they got it there. So that may be perfectly valid for the education market, um, but I think for a lot of other users, that's kind of a, a, a bizarre compromise. And this, this button down here, the on-off button, it's frankly one of the more irritating on-off buttons I've, I've used. So it's not a showstopper, but it is you know something to, uh, something to be aware of. Um, I asked them why it didn't come with any um, antivirus software, and they said that there's actually a folder on the hard drive that contains um, Norton antivirus and uh, it wasn't preloaded simply because um, uh, it wasn't required by this particular SKU and that when educational um, you know users order the laptops you know for school districts and things like that they can customize it to, as to whether or not they want Norton antivirus I thought that it was great that it didn't come preloaded with that because frankly the CPU is such a dog it would have churned and it probably would have completely killed the laptop you know for 10 minutes so that that's actually um, a good thing. Uh, but again, you know, getting getting back to that CPU, um, apparently um, a lot of devices like this now are coming with the Intel Atom processor. And when I asked the guys at HP, uh, you know, why they didn't use the, the Atom processor, apparently it was it was just a time to market thing because uh, this, this device started shipping, uh, you know, um, a couple of months ago. And essentially they needed a processor that they could get, you know, in mass to actually bring this product to market. And the, in the Atom processor just wasn't there yet. So that's the, why they went with the Via processor. My hope is that they will switch to the Atom processor in a future version, maybe even do it later this year. You know, I'm, I'm just hoping uh, because the processor just really can't keep up, I think, with a lot of things. It works great for your typical web browsing, your word processing, so I think a lot of things that your average student would do in school, this would probably be more than adequate for, but once you start introducing Flash, even online video, frankly, it, it kind of struggles with if it's like a, at a higher bit rate or something like that. Um, I also asked them about the um, AC adapter. If you looked at my first video, the uh, power adapter was quite large, and when I asked them why it was so big, what they said was that, um, it's that big in order to provide a quick charge. So the battery on this uh, device, which is this little guy right here, the battery will actually be charged up to 90% within 90 uh, minutes. Now, if they went with a smaller uh, power adapter, something like the uh, Asus EEE PC has, those um, battery adapters, or the AC power adapters rather, they actually uh, take quite a bit longer to charge. So HP essentially uh, went with a trade-off thinking that people would want to have um, a bigger, uh, a bigger uh, 
power adapter to charge their device faster. I would have liked something smaller because I don't think quick charging is that important, but again, that's just one of those trade-offs that uh, some people prefer to have. So that's been my review of this device. Uh, it's Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. Uh, check out the rest of our videos, and thanks for watching.